G'day guys, what's going on? So I'm running full manual with no threshold today. Uh, I'm working this little skinny bit of creek between the diggings. And I had enough and nothing, nothing. Uh, under the wall here, uh, in the clay it looks like. We've got a sound. So I'm going to hope and magically turn it into gold. I'll pause this and get him out. Let's go. Uh. Keep digging, let's go. Guys, I uh, really hope this turns into gold. We're down pretty deep. Please be gold. Let's get him out. Oh, right, guys. The other target was a rush nugget. Of course it was. And then this one, uh, I swore it was going to be a lead shot. Shallow lead shot. Because uh, these diggings are all pushed over. Holes all through them and stuff. Tin right there, and I've dug a million lead shots. They had a loud little target here. And it's, uh, wouldn't you know it, the right colour. It's not much of the right colour, but it is the right colour. I'll give you a quick listen. She's loud. So, <laughs> nearly ate that fly. I'm running a uh, difficult ground full manual, but uh, the ground balance button, not ground balance, uh, the difficult button down there, if you hold that down, gets rid of your threshold, even in uh, manual mode. Hold it down, turns it back on. So if you're in a high EMI area, which this is, a lot of traffic right near a road, and it's always good to turn it off because now look, you, you can't hear a thing. And as soon as you get a little target, it, it really amplifies it. So, but I always run threshold if I can. Yeah, um, so, people ask, uh, how do, you, how do you find your spots and stuff? Well, you just really go where the old timers went. You, you sort of can't go wrong. But the old timers have been here and they've uh, ripped this to pieces. So you know they were finding something. And you know in these pockets of clay and wash, they were probably throwing something up. So the creek here, where it was before, floods high and it pushes all the wash clean off uh, a lot of the piles are just back to the clay and, and the wash layers from the bottoms of the holes closer to the creek are gone so your chances of finding something over there are slim unless you're like in a low spot yeah but, uh that's what settings i run and uh at the moment i'm running my uh aventry headset so another thing with those is uh, people don't like them because when you got it on the speaker and you try and get your target near the coil, the detector goes spastic. But uh, if you just pull one of the earpieces out, I just leave it out. And uh, as I get near the coil, I'll click that earpiece on and put it in and no interference to the coil. So there's another good little tip. And the advantages are great with the 6000 because it blasts the speakers right to your ears instead of out the back of the detector. Uh, I did have a good run in that creek, but uh, not today. Bits of rust and stuff. and so, uh, Even the other side of the creek here, it's, uh, a lot of the diggings are just washed bare. 
So you really got to pick and choose. That's why I was working in over this way. And there's still bits of wash left on the piles here. And the bottom of this pile, piece of gold. Uh, not deep at all. So I'll probably uh, work my way. There's another nice pile over there. I'll hit that and I'll hit that one. And, but uh, that's about it for me for today. I'm going to head back to the car, get out of here. Unless I find another piece, but hope my tips helped you a little bit. Uh, get out there, get in it, get on it, get amongst it, find some gold guys. Let's go!